What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan Thompson. Today we're reviewing for KeenGamer.com Cortex Command, which is available on Steam for $20, or available in a giveaway at KeenGamer.com for a 100% discount. Yeah, that means free. I've poured in almost 70 hours to Cortex Command with no end in sight. This may perplex you as Cortex Command was released in 2012 with mostly negative reception. However, the developers did not give up this project and have justified the $20 price tag. I'm usually not one to become obsessed with complicated games, but this game has consumed me and made hours pass by like minutes. The story is a great backdrop for a sci-fi sandbox game and sets up the great motives for why you're doing what you're doing, and that makes it good. When Earth ends, Cortex Command's story begins. Earth had become a viciously dark place, and the only choice the human race had was to leave. From our evolution, we cast aside our insignificant bodies as our brains alone were able to control multiple bodies in tandem. This made it effortless to leave Earth as we were literally just brains that could be transported easily. When reaching the deep edges of space, we as a species learned that we were not alone as well as not important. After some growing pains, we all adjusted to the alien life. However, resources were depleting quickly, and species started looking towards other systems, which will hold the set piece for a lawless Wild West type gold rush. The art style of Cortex Command is similar to side scrolling 2D indie games like Terraria, but it leans more on its physics engine to be pleasing on its technical side. The pixel art blossoms, and the physics are heavy and satisfying. Robots have a similar weight to the BUD in Grow Home. Mechs look like controlling, hulking metal, and mining in the completely destructible environment beholds an ambitious animation proposition that is executed perfectly. The music is a magically airy chiptune selection. It sets the atmosphere perfectly and is a great background to the hundreds of hours you will spend plowing through the wasteland. Have you ever played StarCraft? In a sense, Cortex Command is the same idea. Two bases build themselves up as they slowly try to frame their offensive attack to take out the other player. Instead of controlling multiple units at once, however, you simultaneously control and give commands to singular units one after the another with the flick of a button. You land on a planet and build your base to defend your brain. The juggling and resource management is satisfying and immensely rewarding as you choose whether to attack or defend. You can allot credits to have more possibilities as you mine for gold and build up your weapons. Planetary scuffles can either swelter to a grand strike after multiple hours, or a swift contest mere seconds into the match. Jetpacks allow verticality and become wieldy after a few hours with its amusing physics build. However, keep a fact in hand, as the game's tutorials can be complicated and enigmatic. Cortex Command is a sandbox RTS game crafted by the folks at Data Realms, which is available for $20 on Steam and on Data Realms' website. I purely suggest that you wait for a Steam sale and order multiple copies to give to friends, as it's very pleasant when playing with others. Data Realm did not give up on their vision, and I applaud them for slowly improving Cortex Command into the game it is today. Cortex Command is a game that's great for those of you who are looking for that new addicting game that stretches your dollar for hours upon each cent. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching the review. And again, my name is Dan Thompson, and you can go on KeenGamer.com to get this game, Cortex Command, and much more every week for free. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button and engage in the comment section so you can stay up to date with all the giveaways, news, and reviews that we post daily. So, anything related to Cortex Command, keep it keen at KeenGamer.com.